Hey everyone, Chris here with ProtectingCoin.com and um, Treasure just released the uh, firmware update 1.6.1. It also uh, includes a bootloader update. So now the bootloader on the Treasure 1 is going to be um, upgradable. So I just wanted to go ahead and do that. They just released that a couple hours ago so I wanted to go ahead and just do a real quick video. Uh, don't have everything normally set up, doing it just real quick on my phone just to show that process. Uh, let me switch the camera view and we'll go ahead and do that real fast. Okay, I got my camera switched here. Uh, see, I've got a Treasure One here. This is my personal device. Uh, I've already went to the Treasure website. You can see that's treasure.io. So we're just going to go ahead and plug that in. There we go. Uh, you'll see you got a uh, Model T right here. Uh, that doesn't actually have this issue, so it's just on the Treasure One. Uh, it is related to a specific chip that was used on it. Uh, it does affect all devices that use this chip. And uh, like I said, Treasure, you know, they uh, discovered this working with a uh, security researcher in the industry and uh, released a fix for it pretty fast. They were first alerted to it in February, so having a fix out you know, within a month or two is, is pretty quick response time. Uh, so you see I've got my... Uh, treasure there. Let's see. Going to go ahead and log in. Open up my wallet. So I just clicked on wallet there. Go to Treasure One. It should notify me that there's a firmware update. Requesting my PIN. I can show you this because the numbers are actually on my wallet that I'm not showing you. So you can't actually see the pin. And the numbers change position every time you plug in. Up, up at the top you see uh, new firmware is available. Click on details. Uh, it's reminding you make sure you have your recovery seed with you uh, just in case something was to go wrong with your firmware update. Uh, you should not need it. Um, I mean it just you know, should not touch the actual uh, seed that is set up on your device or, or your configuration, but always a precaution just in case a firmware update ever fails. You want to make sure you have that recovery seed, you know where it is. So uh, they do give you a, a, some instructions on how to do it. It's a very easy process. Uh, we're just going to disconnect it now, and then when we're connecting, you hold both buttons simultaneously. Okay. So I, I was able to hold down both buttons. Uh, that is the correct screen that I should be seeing. Uh, now on the portal here, it's uh, set up to update the firmware. So it's asking me to confirm that I have my recovery seed with me or my treasure is empty. So you can see this is like a radio button. You can only select one. Uh, so I do have my recovery seed. So I don't want to say it's empty. So update device. And there we go, installing firmware. So it's please confirm firmware install. See back here on the device. Asking me, do you want to install new firmware? Do you have your recovery seed? I'm going to continue. Okay, it's erasing the firmware and installing. And now it's going to ask me to compare a fingerprint. Uh, you can see on the screen it's got a fingerprint listed there as well. And I'm just going to compare those digits. Okay. And new firmware successfully installed. May now unplug. Okay, so I've done that. And update, I unplugged and reconnected. Uh, update finished successfully. Please reconnect the device. Now, it did say it a second time. Um, I believe that's because uh, on this update, there was a first a firmware update and then also a bootloader update. And uh, the... Um, security update, I think one of the main things around it was the bootloader update. It's patching an exploit to where someone could modify that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect and reconnect again and make sure everything looks uh, successful. All right, so now I'm back to my regular screen. I'm back to where I can enter a pin. Go ahead and enter a pin. All right, I've entered a pin. I'm back in. No new messages for firmware updates. Uh, so that's it. I mean, it took me all of, you know, a couple minutes to do it and that's while juggling a phone so uh, if I actually was um, you know, free to do it, it I could see this taking less than a minute uh, to update so um, yeah go ahead and get updated 1.6.1 it will also update your bootloader to a new version uh, should just take you a minute or two uh, the trickiest part is holding down both buttons at the same time while plugging it in but uh, that's really about as difficult as it gets all right thanks everybody